Hey guys, what's up? Lou here at Garage Band and Beyond, and I'm here with my new friend, yep. Sean Mullins. And um, so I thought I'd take a bit where he was, you know, kind enough to give us a minute to talk about uh, no worries, nerdy man. gear stuff. Well, let's talk about yeah. let's talk about vocal mics. What do you like in the studio? Um, you know, we, we use two microphones in particular. Uh, the SM7, Shure SM7, and it's cheap, which yep. we love, but anything that I'm singing that's kind of harder, we go through that mic. And then when I'm singing softer stuff, I use yeah. the, uh, the uh, 47 uh, Telefunken, yeah. and that one tends to be a really good microphone if it's like up close kind of softer stuff. Um, and uh, we use old guitars, we always use like guitars from the 40s, Gibsons. And, um, Classics. But yeah, I mean, uh, I actually, I had a studio in my, in my house, a little one, but I found that I really needed to go pen to paper when I'm writing, and if I start to get into producing too much, right, it takes me away from the kind of like nuts and bolts of it. So, well, you obviously can learn a lot about being in a studio and production and, and, and arrangement and, and uh, you know, putting stuff together track-wise, but... You know, for me, songwriting is kind of a bit more simple than that. You have yeah. to get simple in the fact that there's only two things, words and music, you know. And, right. And so I, when I start getting into trying to be an engineer, which I'm certainly not, um, that's when I start, uh, you know, just getting away from the basic gist of it. But right. uh, anyway, I love doing it, man. It's fun. Nice. Okay, what about uh, acoustic guitar mics? Um, the Neumann uh, pencil mic. Uh, yeah. me for Patrick, what's, the ca what's that little... Here's Patrick. This is the uh, guitar player for Sean Mullins. What's that little? <laughs> we're drawing a blank. We're both drawing a blank. The little tiny uh, KM, no, the Neumann 184. Thank you. Yeah. Um, for acoustic guitar mics. Yeah, those are nice. Great. They work. That, they, it depends on the guitar too. You know, like if it's an old woody guitar, that's kind of a nice one to stick on that 12 fret area at a bit of an angle and get yep. it close as possible. And, um, I also have a kind of a couple of newer guitars that when we're playing band stuff that you just want to cut through. Sometimes you're going to end up notching all that low end out anyway of a yeah. good Woody, Woody Gib Gibson or something yeah. from the 40s. So, so my newer Gibson we use a lot with uh, anything that where the guitar is going to be more of a present kind of upper end sound. You know? right, right. It's got, it kind of cuts through well. And, exactly. You're oh, actually no. confirming a, like a, a previous video that I've made. It's oh like, yeah. It says like you never like you listen to recordings and you never hear that like great acoustic guitar tone it's always like acting more like a shaker like right. a rhythm mm -hmm. guitar like a yeah. rhythm instrument you with know? some overtones on the yeah on the exactly back end of like it. a like a percussion instrument with like a melodic yeah. chordal you know background yeah. to it yeah yeah so that's key well all right i think that's pretty good all right well thanks a lot thanks man. let's do the uh, classic handshake patrick i'm really yeah. glad you walked in <laughs> saved our butts there no, i'm just here to help anyway, well you helped a lot Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, here was Sean Mullins. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs>